Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play The Longest Journey. When we left off last time, we successfully infiltrated the police department, ransacked their archives room, and probably got Frank Minnelli in a lot of trouble, and I feel really bad about that. But then I do have to remind myself, all of this is for the sake of saving the world. It's... his career may well be a casualty, maybe even more than that. This is a pretty strict society, but I can't think about that too much. We gotta... we gotta focus on saving the world. I'm sorry, Frank. Okay, so we're in this scene that crashed before, so hopefully we'll be okay. We looked Newport at that, Police right? Department. Yeah. It's a holographic sign. It was quite the sign. No, 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 don't go in there. We don't need to go back in. We are done. Oh, that's just herself, and okay. Fingers crossed. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. All right, back to here. Oh yeah, and oh, oh, we got the, the magnetized uh, screwdriver. Get over there, quickly. Run, April. I'm excited. So, is it gonna be just as easy as point this thing at it and we can get it? There's our data cube that we got. Very excited about that as well. All right. Just point at that. No, it's not because it's not lighting up. Okay, then. How did we get it? It's an AG control unit. Yeah, I really want it. Is there anything else we need to say to this fella? Move along. Nothing to see. Keep it moving, ma'am. <coughs> Damn. Dust. So we got that cough, huh? Okay, um... Ooh! Would a nice, cool beverage help you feel better? That won't make the cop abandon his post. I need to come up with a better plan. And being a good Samaritan may be the honorable course of action, but it won't help me save the world. World. <laughs> That's clever, game. Giving you the reminder. Yeah, we're having your character do some crappy things to other people, but this is for the sake of worlds. Okay, so we've got to poison him somehow. We don't want to put broken... Okay, got that. Very thankful those two don't combine. Um, a push pin in the pop's a bad idea, too. How do we contaminate this drink? Giving him the drink is the right way. It's a can of delicious bingo classic soda. Mm. Even if it wasn't the only Wait, soda organic available, plastic? bingo would still be the soda for me. No? It's a sealed thing. How are we going to... Okay, it flashed. He wants it. What do we do to mess it up first? Something over here in the street? Roll it around in the garbage? No. Okay, we're done moving this. If we mess with the garbage, it's just going to put us back where we were before, right? In the basement where we don't want to be. It's a garbage container, and it's mostly empty, save for a couple of sticky old newspapers and bottles. Another unfortunate victim of the Anglo-Pacific Wars of the 90s. Alright, Pop. How do we mess you up? Not the garbage? Not by giving you to someone? Alright. We have to figure a way to do something unpleasant to this guy. Although we could just... I don't know, let's not. We could just go and give the information that we've got to Warren, and that would probably be beneficial. But I kind of want to try to tackle this puzzle, if we can. While we're right here. It might be that there's more pieces we need that we just don't have yet, but maybe it is possible to do it, and I just need to try a little harder. Okay, so he wants it, but as is will not do. What else can I do with this thing? Don't be a good Samaritan, she says. I don't know, put the ring in there and hope he chokes on it? That doesn't seem like a good plan. We gotta come up with some better method of poisoning. 
I don't know, don't be a good Samaritan has me thinking of really horrible things we could do, and it makes me wonder if we should go back to Warren's side of town and try and get a hold of perhaps some sort of illegal substances and contaminate it that way, which is a really, really, really horribly unethical thing to do. But, um, might solve the problem. Let's see what options game gives us. Alright, he was at Hope Street. And I am excited to check in with him and, you know, let him know that his sister is alive and she's well taken care of. I'm not so excited to let him know about his mom. That's that's a bummer, but... Alright, Warren. I got news for you, buddy. How did it go? Did you get the information? Is my sister okay? Uh, yes. To it both wasn't of those last easy, two. But I did it. Your sister's fine. You don't have to worry about the law or the corporates anymore. They think you're dead, though. That's great. That's... Thank you. Really. Thank you. So do you have the information for me? I do. I hope you're not angry sure, that you... I've, um, deceased you. Oh, I don't even have to click it. She just handed it. That's handy. Your parents. They're... They're dead. But your sister's okay. She's been adopted by some woman named Drake, a lieutenant with the Bacamba Mercer Corporation. My sister's a corp brood? Well... And my... My parents. You know that should hurt, but it doesn't. I don't feel anything. I... Well, I knew my you wouldn't about your dad. Time ago. But my sister... I gotta find her. Yes, but at least you know that she's being sure well taken care of until you do. It's a start. Hey, wait a minute. You killed me? Sorry. Thanks a lot. I didn't well, know that's dead, what would happen. Nobody cares. The cops are not going to be chasing after you for crimes committed by a dead it's guy. It's going to make it harder, harder for him to do some things, yeah, too, though. you're right. I'm going to have a tough time getting a new ID. Yeah. You should have just wiped my record clean. I should have. I'm not complaining, though. I'm better off now than I was a few hours ago. I should have just left it at it. So what Sorry. Can I do now, sister? Okay, so... Can you put me in touch with your friend now? Yeah, for the information you needed? Right. You got it. Thank you. I feel Head bad because we could have done better for him. Down in the outskirts of the city. It's all deserted now since they stopped using the boats for cargo shipments. Head across the construction yard to a large garage. Yeah, this all sounds really safe. You can't miss it. It's got all these large tubes outside. Knock three times on the door and tell Burns Flipper. And this guy's weird, so don't mind the stuff he says. <laughs> Tell the flipper that I sent you. All right. I'll call ahead to let him know you're coming. He should be able to help you out with almost everything you need to know, okay? Thank you. I really am very grateful Thanks. for this. You don't know this, Warren, but you are doing your part to um, help save the world as well. Okay. I got what he said, but just in case. Where does your friend live again? Burns Flipper. I'll go to the Newport docks, knock three times on the large garage door. He'll let you in. Bye, Warren. Best of luck to you, kiddo. Hey, keep it cool, sister. You too. Man, now I feel really bad about bungling and deleting him entirely. If we just left it, added it. Although, again, like I said, it, it was all—it's all going to be being logged. So maybe having it listed—I don't know. Maybe it will work out better. It depends on what happens when the powers that be investigate the Frank Minnelli searches and what they come up with out of that. Okay, so. Back to the subway. For the moment, at any rate. I'm sure we're going to end up needing that anti-gravity unit, but I also feel that it can probably wait for right now. A new stop. So they don't use the shipyard anymore. That's not the way to move goods. What do they do? Drones. Cargo containers. Mm hmm The shipyard's been closed down, but all the machines are still there. It's a wonder nobody's bothered to dismantle it to prevent accidents. Maybe because of the cost? Maybe it makes more sense to just... Well, it's not closed down that well if we can just traipse up in here. That thing hasn't sailed for years. It's just a big hunk of rust with paint on it now. Alrighty. Well, to the construction yard, I suppose. Looks 
somebody's here. Is this his friend's car? The flipper's car? Hey, cool! It's a 2032 Camaro in prime condition! <laughs> Gas-guzzling automobiles was my secret passion before I turned 13. They were so much more fun than boys. Still are, really. So there's still gas in the world here in the future, eh? It hasn't been more or less all used up. Thanks for putting your greasy hands on me. I'm now charged with a fuckload of electricity, and any further physical contact <laughs> will result in you being toast. That's an excellent anti-theft system. Uh oh it bites. All right, we'll leave it alone. <laughs> it's a rickety ladder. We should climb right up there, huh? It's a rickety ladder. All right, we'll leave it be for now. Okay, there's the garage. That's where we need to actually go. Magnet on the car? It's a bad idea. It's a really bad idea. If its threat is true, we should just leave it alone. All right, what else we got going on over here? Could we put the anti-gravity unit on that car? Make our own hovercraft, fly it somewhere? I'd like to do that. I know, here I am contemplating um, Grand Theft Auto now. Not enough that we broke into the police station and tampered with official records. Let's just steal some cars. Steal a guy's synthetic guy. Speaking of, where is the eye? We don't have it anymore. I mean, I'm kind of glad. I don't want to keep it, but at the same time, I would have liked to have... I want to know that we made sure, as best we can, that it gets back to Frank. Alright, the place Where there's the ventilation, tubes. there's life. What's this machine? Hovercrafts. MTI Industrial Strength Paint Shaker. So it's a device for shaking paint, then. That's so last century. Well, if paint still needs to be shaken. It's a container. What's in it? Let's I've see. I've been up close and personal <laughs> with enough trash for one lifetime. So, no. All right. Let's go look at this thing. Junk. Expensive junk, but still junk. Aw. Alright. The doors are closed. Knock three times. There we go. You're trespassing. You gotta leave now. Nope. Where'd that come from? The tubes, probably. Just say that you were sent by, uh, Warren Hughes. I'm April Ryan, Warren's friend. I don't know anybody named Ryan, so how about fucking off? I know you don't know me, but you know Warren. Warren called you on my behalf? Warren Hughes, you know Warren, right? Didn't I tell you to fuck off? I don't care. Yeah, but... Oh, fuck <laughs> off already. Am I stuttering here? Jesus H. Christ, you'd think that fuck off would be clear enough as it is for even a slag like you to understand. You're underestimating how I'm stubborn I am. Slag. Ah, so you're a gangbanger. Baby, there ain't enough here worth shit, you know? I got no beat with your posse, so fuck off. Nope. No, no, I'm... A corp, yeah. I'd recognize a corp bitch anywhere. I'm legit, no funny stuff. Got my corp permit right here in my little hand two weeks ago. And I only do inventory by appointment, so you're gonna have to phone me up there, toots. Let me finish what I'm trying to say, buddy. Could you, like, shut up for just one second? There you go, April. Chill out! <laughs> I'm April Ryan. I'm a friend of Warren's, who apparently is a friend of yours. And he called you a short while ago to let you know he's cashing in on a favor. Does any of this ring a bell? Ring a bell? Ding dong, the witch is dead. What are you, like a cliche movie chick? Yeah, it fucking rings a bell, but not the bell you'd like to hear. Think I was born yesterday? Dude, what is your problem? Like jacking in on a satellite conversation isn't in the fucking guidebook to good corporate surveillance? Jesus. Corps always underestimate the blipper. 
Like, I bite because I see a babe in tight pants. I don't think so. Oh my gosh, I am not with corporate, you, know, you idiot. If the fate of two worlds didn't depend on me, I'd tell you to go straight to hell. <laughs> Did I mention blow me, baby? Could you blow me really hard? Oh my goodness, everything about this conversation is really bastard. funny, but also Listen. awful. This guy sucks. If I was out to arrest you, don't you think I'd have brought an army of corporate goons? You got a point. April Ryan, huh? Shit. Channel warm scrambled anyway. Top of the line African scrambler. Fucking impossible to hack unless you're the flipper. Yeah, I know. You got You're telling bit of me that, here. <laughs> that you knew who I was the whole time? Are you a psychopath or something? Warren did say he was really weird. Or something. Sure, babe. Hey, hold on. He's reclusive, and this is how he gets his kicks, because he doesn't interact with people that much, I'll bet. So this whole thing was highly amusing to him. Alright. I should hate you, Flipper, but I don't. An obnoxious fella to deal with, but kind of funny. Alright. So, he's recording me. What's you don't this? look very solid. Well, it's that or into the pet, so... I don't think she's willing. Nope. Yeah, she's not going to go up the stairs. Into the pit seems like a really bad idea. Well, down we go. You're the fella, huh? Very cyberpunkish. Very cyberpunkish. All right. And that's it then, other than a fl the flipper. Okay, you. It's a mishmash of old and new computer hardware. It's a guy in a hover chair, and it's gotta be Burns Flipper. Let's talk. Hello? Are you Burn? Yeah, chill out, baby. Chill. Be there in a sec. Oh, all right, all right. How'd you get down here? Who the hell are you? I, I climbed down. I it wasn't that hard. Let me in. We spoke only a few minutes ago. Warren's friend April? Warren who? I don't know any war- Oh, Warren. Right, yeah. Fire Lizard. Zeke. He's a good supplier. Flipper likes him. Likes him good. You a buddy of his? Yeah. Oh, you his baby. Yeah. No. Oh, sure. I date 50 year olds <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Whatever. So, what the fuck do you want? Well, I was told you could be of help, but kind of I'm not really doubting it but I think the help's going to be a little rough to get we're going to have to sort through a bunch of nonsense out of him but that's alright I'm up for this but when he said oh oh fire lizard Zeke this reminds me of like way back in the day I used to occasionally with like m my sister-in-law and some friends when work with work we'd like go to the club on like Monday nights after work because it was fun and I remember this one time this girl came up and she was like oh do you know where Oreos is Oreos where's Oreos I'm like what or I what are you talking about and then she's like, oh, oh, and then said my sister in last name, and he's like, oh, well, okay, no, I don't know where she is. Freaking Oreos. This just makes me think of it. Oh, Fire Lizard, Zeke? No, I know people by their actual names, not by weird, random nicknames, okay? <laughs> All right, so. What is this place? This is the Flipper's Boutique, mademoiselle. I sell everything, from joy chips and porn cubes, strictly hardcore. Max, illegality. <laughs> what would be the fucking point otherwise? What, 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 what kind of illegality, though? Generators? What I don't have here, I can get, for a price. Nothing where people get hurt, right? Smart. Let me tell you, shop smart, shop is smart. Nah, what I got here costs moolah, mucho moolah. Okay, well, that's great. Are you in the market for a neutronium bomb, by the by? Nope. Got a hot one sitting in storage. Give it to you for a cool 100 million, huh? Bargain. Interested? Not slightly. Sure. Let me just check my wallet. No, of course not. Are you crazy? Probably. <laughs> I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> All right, you. <laughs> You're weird. What happened to your legs? These are horrible things to say. Um, this is a really repulsive question. Like, you don't ask someone that. But I'm kind of curious to see what he's going to say. I would never ask such a thing in real life, but... What happened to your legs? Jesus, are you fucking kidding me? My fucking legs, huh? You want to know? 
I'm kind of curious, yeah. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't want to know. It is a really bad question, That's though. That's how you took April. my legs. Captain Crunch. Now, answer this question for me. I'll tell you who took them. What's your question? Sure. It can be something equally as insulting as what happened to your legs. What? Yeah, it's a fair question, April. You I asked him something you really insulting. Until you answer the question there, Trebek. Uh, I don't know. At 18, it could be either way. That's none of your business isn't a fair qu answer, April, because it's none of your business what happened to his legs. So, honestly, I think this is a good way for him to get the point across that she asked something that's really rude. Um, well, she doesn't have a boyfriend, and she's set on how boy crazy she is, so it makes me think that probably. But also... I get sick of the whole uh, the whole virginity thing. Like it's something so important if you are or aren't a virgin, and like it de it defines something about you. It really it's not that big a deal. So we're gonna go with not, just because. I'm not a virgin. Good for you. Who would you lose it to, Warren? No, I'm not a pedophile either. What? No. Why the hell are you? I lost my legs when I was 18. I was doing odd jobs, breaking into high security accounts, spying, shit like that. I was hitting MTI at the time. Malkuth Technologies, big guys, big guns. So they caught me with my finger up the proverbial anus. You know what I'm saying? I was hooked up, cruising their network, when they hit me with some shit hits the fan tech. Fried my brain like breakfast sausages. That's why you are how you are? No, that's Major me. Major brain malfunction. I was dead as a lesbian black chick at a Republican fundraiser. Ooh. Woke up from the coma a week later. Some shit spewing goons from MTI are hovering over me. Still this kind of stuff going they on a me, couple hundred years in the future, again, eh? dickhead, you die. Yeah, shit like that. Then I found out my legs are cut off. Sure, I can get some new ones, no problem. But that costs, like, an arm and a leg. Ha! Get it? An arm and a leg. Shit, I'm funny. All right. Well, plus so your hover thing's kind of cooler, this anyhow. Craft chair instead. It only works in here, but I don't care. Never leave the damn place anyway. Uh, I wonder if you would if That's you had the story. legs. That's a story. Not a virgin. <laughs> tell me something personal. I'll tell you something personal. Fair. And the world keeps turning round and round and round again because the flipper's on board. All right. All right, we'll go for it. And this again, I kind of hope that he hits her with something mean in response again, too, because she deserves it, because it's a terrible thing to, to uh, say, You're so. weird. So are you. <laughs> That's not that exciting. Come on, give me something better than that. All right. I need some information. So visit the fucking library. Or go bother the Oracle or whatever. The flipper Oracle? can't help you. Actually, I think I have something yeah, you would probably be very interested you. in, buddy. That data cube. It yeah. will be right up his alley. Hey, what? What was he wrong about? About you being the best there is at getting information. Any kind of information. I guess you can't help me. Fuck yeah, I'm the best. Best there ever was. Better than Chocolat. I'm the king of data streams. The emperor of the feed, baby. Well, I have a data cube. And also... What kind of information do you need? I want to take down this gigantic megachurch. And seeing how much you hate the corporations, I have a feeling you would be way on board for that. So... I need information on a guy called Jacob McAllen. And an organization called the Vanguard, or the Church of Voltec. Sounds pretty heavy. I gotta yep. tell you, Voltex and shit, they You're into security that. top of the fucking food chain. You got something concrete for me to go on here, huh? Besides names, names are nothing. I do, actually. What do you mean? Data cube, Details. April. Details. Gods and the Jesus is in the details, woman. There's a fucking ocean of info out there. Gotta God know or where Jesus, to start, not the devil. What to focus on. Where do I begin? Give me a map. All right. How? Oh, I want to get this thing. Okay. Thanks for your help, Mr. Flipper. No, he's going to be helpful. I'm the Flipper. The Flipper. Call me Burns. Yeah, beautiful. Ha! See ya! No, I got a thing that you are going to be so excited to see, buddy. You're going to freaking love this. Take a crack at that, eh? Hey, Burns? I'll be right up. No, you don't want to wait for this. You're going to love it. I think he's going to be totally geeked out about this. this. data cube from the police station. Yeah, so what the hell is on it? Don't know. That's where you come in. You asked for details? This thing has details. Plenty of it. I hope. 
And you expect me to sort through this shit for you? Yes. Locate the relevant information, dive into the big blue sea of corporate security, and fish out whatever it is you need from the feed? I am. It seems like your kind of thing. Please? Shit, you're cute. But if you weren't Warren's little play thing, I'd kick you out. And hey, whatever. Hand it over and I'll give me a few minutes. All right, you. Don't pretend that you're not totally into this. It's exactly your kind of thing. It's a data cube I stole from the police station. You know that you want to see what's on it. I wonder if he always had a kind of eccentric personality, or if this is just something that's been really amplified by his brain being fried. Assuming that story he told us was true. I don't know, I'm taking a at his word this far. you do know what the fuck you're fucking with here, yeah? You do know, don't you? These guys are the fucking epitome of uncoolness. Wanna help me take them down? It's good stuff, though. Precious information. I gotta hand it to you, sexy. You know what you were doing bringing this to the flipster. So, what can you tell me about the Vanguard? Is there anything in there about where they're located and how to get access to their files? Shit! Aren't you a little too eager to trot with the beast, babe? Slow down, chill! Ah, I got worlds to save. To but first, take a look at this recording. Alright, show me. Just step over to the screen there, I'll play it back for you, okay? Screen right here? Okay. Also, I do not be appreciate all the babes and sexies and stuff, but I also can't Join hold it too much against him. He's kinda nuts. We must charge forward into a new era of compassion. Is this the face of my enemy? Companionship and goodwill. An era of expansion and enrichment. A golden era. We must forge a future for ourselves, our children, and our children's children that can withstand the forces that oppose us. What forces that oppose you? We shall be victorious. Also, I wonder how much of his personality is legit weird and how much of it is, like, intentional weird. created to do is bring spirituality back into our lives and into our world. Magic. And knowledge. Our enemies have suppressed the truth for too long. We can no longer stand idly by while they spread their lies and their disinformation to the people of our planet. We must fight back. We must take to arms and defend ourselves against our oppressors. This is kind of a really disturbing thing to listen to, because this is the kind of stuff that some religions would say. Are you? I know that. But, the but you're inciting people to violence. All people must do their duty to protect their ideology and to preserve their beliefs. That time has come. Our time has come. This is really disturbing. Because that is the type of thing that your religious radicals would say. They feel so oppressed and there's nobody oppressing them, but... Or nothing... I don't know. do what we must to defend our beliefs against the heretics. This argument about we must we defend our beliefs, they're in danger, and half the time I don't think they really are. At least not in the US. I mean, there's freedom of religion, but still people will try to play it off like somehow they're being so oppressed, and it's like, no, not really. Who was that? He was incredibly charismatic, but cold. What do you think? Your friend and mine, Mr. Jacob McGallum, head honcho of the Church of Voltec. Or the vanguard, if you wish. Is he originally Suppose from Arcadia? Peaceful philosopher, dude. Not the case, as it turns out. No, I think he's probably from Stark, Obvious and he desperately Hitler wants complex. what Arcadia Real has. Nazi wannabe. This is heavy, dangerous shit you got here, and I love it. Oh, I knew you would. But I thought the Church of Voltec was a peaceful religion dedicated only to meditation and philosophy. Well, obviously not, April. You Come and on. Twenty billion other souls, Missy. This is the truth. It's clear as simple as butter. Now take a look at this on the screen again. Also, April, they're the front for Who's the this? vanguard in this world. That's a guy named Gordon Halloway. Evil looking dude, huh? <laughs> Turns out he's McAllen's right hand man, runs the vanguard's secret ops. 
There's a gold mine of info on this data cube. Yeah. What was it doing in the police station? The Vanguard have a bunch of agents that they've bred in tanks. Oh. The grasp of genetic engineering far surpasses anything I've seen so far. I've seen everything. You say tell, that, but you hadn't seen this till now. They call the fathers of the what Sentinel? Else could there be? I don't know who the fuck they are, but I'll find out. Must be the good guys, though, if they're fighting these creeps. They are the good guys. Or at Anyhow, least they guy seem to Gordon, be thus far. He was originally intended for some kind of religious duty, whatever the hell it was for the Sentinel dudes. Let's say, like, Dalai Lama or whatever. He's our guardian, well, the isn't Vanguard he? kidnapped him before he was ready, and they did some shit with him, some experiments to try to use his powers, and I'm thinking this spiritual crap. It's just bullshit. But... No, Both but the he's, he's and our these guardian. Sentinel dudes, they believe this kid has I know everyone I come across I think is the guardian. something very important. So when the Vanguard grab him, that's like, holy shit, fucking big deal. What kind of experiments did they perform on the child? Weird fucking thing. Just trying to control these powers he has? They fuck up big time, though. And the kid is totally screwed up. Split in half in some oh. spiritual way. One part chaotic, the other pure logic. So we have to so now reconcile the hats. Gordon, he's like the coldest motherfucker you'll ever meet, so stay out of his way. According to these documents, he'll kill somebody for cutting in line ahead of him, which I'll do too, you know, or like coughing yeah. in his own direction, which I'd fucking lop your head off for, but anyway. But you wouldn't really, uh, he this runs guy the would. dark side of the church of Voltec, and I'm guessing he's next in line to take over. After old man McCallum leaves this earthly realm, which could take ages, I'm afraid, with the tech these guys got. Yeah, how long do people how live? The police in the were able to gather now? this much information on the Vanguard, and yet they don't do anything about it. Probably scared. I don't know. Maybe it's routine. Maybe they want something on the bastards to pressure them when they really need to, and maybe the information just got lost in the system. Hmm. The fact is, though, that with assholes like these walking among us, we're not safe. None nope. of us. Least of all you. So please don't hang <laughs> around longer than necessary. Yeah. Why least of all me? So, okay, these guys are badasses, and I should stay as far away from them as possible. Disregarding that, <laughs> where are the Vanguard headquarters? Uh, you're either very brave or very stupid, Jaquita. But, whichever it is, I shouldn't tell you. Come on, tell me. Why? Because I'm a girl and I can't take care of myself? No, because anybody who fucks with these guys is sure to end up with a bullet lodged in the back of their skull. Or worse. Well, I gotta do what I gotta do, so tell me where they are. Shit. You know, I'm yeah. the flipper. The flipper. I'm not into this shit, you know. I'm strictly into sales and profit. This detective shit you're doing. What the hell is it? Are you, why are you doing it? Because I got some worlds to save. Very long story. It's some other time, yeah? I really need that information, Mr. Flipper. Okay, chill, dick smack. I got it. I got it. <laughs> You see, the church has several unofficial headquarters round and about, but they're insignificant. Cover operations, basically. All right, so where do I want to go? There's no concrete address on this data cube you gave me, but I scanned it through some online records quickly, and I discovered that the Voltex, the Vanguard, are linked to a very big company indeed. Bocamba Mercer? Which is... MTI, Malkuth oh. Technologies Incorporated. Big guys, almost as big as Bocamba Mercer. Freak the hell out of me. But it looks like the head honchos of the Vanguard may be running MTI. Well, you have a problem with them, so Which let's work fun, together. Because I got some beef with MTI. Uh huh. Some heavy duty beef. And now I got something to hit them back with, fuckers. Yeah, so we've helped each other out. Good deal. MTI is run by the Vanguard? It means that wherever the corporate headquarters of MTI are, you'll probably find the Vanguard elite. Alright, that's and where we got And do you know where the MTI there. corporate headquarters are located? I'm the, the flipper, dude. What the fuck do you think? Shit. Don't answer that. Grendel Avenue. Grendel? I don't know where that is. You don't know where Grendel Avenue is? Holy Christ. You're kidding, yeah? It's like the numero uno neighborhood in Newport. Only the top dogs live there. Apartments go for hundreds of millions of dollars. Well, that explains why I wouldn't know anything about it. There. Come on. Sorry, babe. A slag like you are stuck on the ground level for all eternity. There's no stepping up in the world for you. you gotta have proper ID, top-level ID, to get to Grendel Avenue. And you don't, babe. Sorry. Well, then I'll find a way to get there. Just you watch me, Flipper. Alright, does that mean he's done talking to me? Just in case. You got any other conversation options? Hey, Burns? I'll be right up! 
What is it? So, you seem like the kind of guy that could do this. You fix me up with some fake identification. Why would you want that? Because I'm going to go else there. How am I going to get to Grendel Avenue? Hey, I'm warning you, don't fuck with those Vanguard shitheads. Yeah, they No, I'm going to do it. I bet you they don't let go like fucking, what do you call those little fucking dogs that don't let go? <laughs> Pitbull Terriers? Shit. Man, those things are nasty, fucking wicked nasty. They're not really little dogs either. But anyhow. Can we discuss the fake identification I need? Baby, I gotta tell you, it's gonna cost you cash only. You got a lot of cash? No. Got lots of it. You better come it out of your ears, baby. A sorry friend of a friend and all, but it ain't cheap. And I advise you to forget about it pronto. Listen, I don't need Let to pay a lot of cash. About that. It helps you get revenge. Me? Come on. I have, like, $300. Oh, April. That's... No. <laughs> Try 20k on for size, shortcake. Sorry, little missy, but fake IDs cost a moolah. I need to buy a properly generated key from a connection downtown. I need an authorized blank card. You're an idiot. They don't come cheap, that <laughs> stuff. Even if I cut out my profit, which for a friend of Warren's, I just may. <laughs> It'll still come to $15,000, baby. Okay. This is a dicey thing to say, because he might take it in a kind of a gross direction, and that's not what I'm meaning. Although I don't think he'd... I don't know, I don't feel like he'd really... Be, I think he'd just be scornful of her if she offered, like, sex and payment for it. But no, I'm talking about, like, actual real barter. I could probably get you something good. I got you this data cube. You wanted information to hit MTI with, and I gave it to you, so maybe I could come up with something else useful. Would you consider alternative forms of payment for a fake ID? Sorry, Chiquita, that urge disappeared with my little legs. Not what I was getting at. No! Oh, not that! God forbid! More like a, a favor or something you need. Don't think I need a... Whoa! God! You need an anti-gravity unit. That's what you need. Shit, that gets me every time. What's problem? What's up with your chair? Ah, the anti-grav control unit is fried like fried taters, brainiac. Ah, it'll be gone, gone, gone for a good in a few days. But I hope my good friend, my buddy, my mate, Freaky Sales, gets me a new one before that, so it don't fall down. If I get you a new anti-grav control unit, would that get me a fake ID? <laughs> If you found a good one that actually works, and one that can lift more than 200 kilos, hey, sure. Like, you're gonna find one. <laughs> like, if I could find one that would lift, um, you know. What are those things called that crashed? This gigantic, like, Zeppelin-type things? We totally got this. All right. Thanks. I'll be back with the anti-grav unit. Sure. Watch me. I don't know. I should hate that guy. I should find him annoying. I kind of like him. He's just so ridiculous. How could you not like him? But now the question becomes, how do we get him this anti-grav unit? Junk. Junk. Okay, I was hoping she'd say something new about it, but no. Okay, I don't think we need anything in here. Although I could be totally wrong. So, to the seaport, back to the subway. I do want to check in at home as well. So, is that it? Downstairs, construction, yeah, downstairs. Let's have a look at home. And we gotta find something. It's a mess. Oh no, we do I know what we need to do. I know what we need to do. Oh! We have gotta go back there and we've gotta go to the paint shaking machine and we've gotta just shake the bejesus out of that can of pop. And basically weaponize it. 
Then we will give it to the guy, and it's just going to explode on him when he opens it. That's what we need to do. That actually makes me feel, I don't know, is that really better? To give him an exploding can of pop than to give him a poisoned can of pop? It's still a pretty crappy thing to do, but... Worlds are at stake. And these are the puzzle- these are- these are the options we're given to solve the puzzles, so we gotta just go with it. Okay, where was that thing? Over in front of the garage. you. Oh yeah. There it goes. Be very careful picking that bad boy up, April. <laughs> Look at how fast it got. Quite enough. I want to see it in our inventory. This is volatile stuff. I'd better get rid of it as soon as possible. Yeah, I have a certain unsuspecting fella in my... Look at it, it's shaking. It's ready it's to blow. It's a pretty volatile can of soda. It could explode at any moment. Junk. All right. it, nope. There we go. Okay, let's go deliver it. Pretty excited about this. Now, getting the thing though, we have a laser fence to get through. We have a magnetic screwdriver. How magnetic is it? It's not going to be enough to just like point it at the thing and then it just kind of right over to it, I don't think. We're going to have to come up with something better. Well, we can worry about that when we get there. Let's go take a look at the situation. At the very least, we can get the guy out of the way. Maybe with him not there, we can tamper with the fence and just, I don't know, like, knock it down and disrupt it or something. Would you like a can of not at all suspicious soda? Would you like a cold soda, officer, to wash away the dust? Much obliged, ma'am. I'm sorry, buddy. Good thing you set that gun down first. Whoopsie doos. You okay? Damn, damn it! I have to get to the service office before my suit short circuits. Oh. That seems like a really... I feel so bad. Yeah. And I love it. What? But that does seem like a major design flaw in the suits, if just getting them wet potentially short circuits them. I mean, if there was a riot, you just gotta take a hose and spray some water on them, right? Alright, laser fence. It's a high-voltage laser perimeter fence. Okay. No, this on its own didn't do it. So we gotta mess with the fence. What are we gonna do to this fence? Something with the mirror shard? Reflect part of it? Oh, yeah. I saw this on an episode of MacGyver 2200. Yeah. Just like that. Nice. Okay. Let's go get this bad boy. Okay, just grabbing it's not gonna work, right? We're probably gonna need the screwdriver. The AG control unit is fastened tight with a couple of big screws. Yanking it free might damage the unit. Good thing we have a solution for that. Well, well. Mission accomplished. 
It's an anti-gravity control unit. Such a tiny device for such an enormous job. I sure hope this wasn't the reason the shuttle went down, or, or Mr. Flipper might be in for a nasty surprise. It's a valid concern, but... We're just gonna have to hope that things are okay. Okay, so then... We could take it straight back to Flipper, and it's not a bad idea. I almost want to check in with Warren. And check in and see if Fiona is back. We've accomplished some things. And if there is more conversation I could get out of them, I don't want to miss it. Alright, we'll check Warren first, because he's more direct, I think, from the subway. Um, up street, up street. Right over here. Anything new? Can I ask you a few questions? Anything for my sister. Oh, bye, Warren. Hey, keep it cool, sister. So is he saying, when he says anything for my sister, is he like, April's been upgraded to sister now? Because that's kind of cool. Okay, I'm kind of thinking from that, that that was exactly the same... We're going to take a chance. I don't want to miss Fiona if she's there, but I have a feeling that she's not yet, so... Alright, we're... I don't want to... we got to check. we got to check to be sure. And the reason I'm so stuck on this is honestly because I am that spiteful and I want to try to get Zachley kicked out. It's important to me. If it's something I can do but isn't necessary to advance the game, like if it's a side thing, I totally do not want to miss it. It might be that it's not even possible to do, but I really want revenge for all the nastiness that we had to endure from him. Okay, no good. All right then, I think I'll go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back in next time, I will meet you um, in the, the, the room that the flipper's in, because we're going to have to run through all those screens to get up to him again, so I'll, I can do that off screen. We'll meet up with him, give him this anti-gravity unit, and... Man, we are making some real progress on the Vanguard, which is exciting, but in a way, it's also kind of scary, because if they figure out that we're on to them, they're going to start gunning for us.